If you're sitting down to write, it's a good idea to have something to write about. Otherwise, you might as well just be putting together a shopping list. What your piece of writing needs is a subject. A subject can usually be described in one or two words. For instance, surfing is a subject. So is autumn. So is toilet bowl cleaner, if you can find a way to make that interesting. The theme, on the other hand, is the message about being human that the author sends when writing about the subject. Any piece of writing worth its salt has some kind of message. It could be saying that we're all born basically good, or that true love conquers all, or that we have a hard time turning down anything wrapped in bacon. It doesn't have to be profound, but there does have to be some kind of message. But an author would not be much of a writer if they just out and out stated the theme and then, uh, went home. Themes aren't usually stated directly in a text. The reader has to discover the theme, and that's part of the fun of reading. That and being able to turn on your flashlight on the covers when it's past your bedtime. <laughs> Sneaky. Readers infer themes as they read a text. To infer is to guess or figure out, using details from the text. In a fictional story, the reader sees what happens to the characters and figures out what mistakes they make, how they change because of them, and what it all means. Nonfiction writing has themes as well. When you're reading something and trying to nail down the theme, see if you can find a word or a short phrase that seems to capture the entire idea or subject of the piece. Then you can try and think of a way to explain what the author said about that subject. If you can come up with a suitable explanation that explains some sort of message about the human condition, and that message is fully supported by all of the text, then boom, you track down the theme. Just make sure you've got a firm grip on it. They're slippery little suckers.